an airport bank holiday weekend. Let's hope the queues aren't too big. I've been up all night, no sleep. But I'm used to it from the night shift, so I won't complain too much today. Um, I'll probably sleep later on tonight, hopefully, because I'm supposed to be racing tomorrow. So, it was kind of good that I was working nights this week because I had to get up and get a bus at um, 3 a.m. from Limerick City to come up here to Dublin. So, I'm ready for it. Just need to make sure I get sleep tonight. McDonald's is closed down. Oh God. Bit of a disaster. Looks like I have to get my coffee in Fogo King and it's horrible. Twenty-seven degrees. It's supposed to be only a shake out run, but damn, it's too hot. It's no Raheem Business Park. But that's going to be my base for the next couple of weeks as I work on my speed. So that's the end of week five. Got here about three hours ago from Dublin. Travelling all night. Didn't sleep. Did a half marathon yesterday in Maru, in Limerick. Still have that in my legs, so technically this run today is a double. And guess what? I'm racing tomorrow. So let's go if I sleep. Because it's been a bad week in terms of sleep. But uh, in terms of the last couple of weeks in training, it's been pretty good, it's been pretty productive. Like um, in terms of this week, I went up to Keeper Hill with the two Shans, and that was supposed to be easy, but it, it really ended up being um, a threshold run because Sean Quirk, he won Karen Tool the week before, and Sean Doyle, he's a 65 minute half marathon runner, so it was never going to be easy. So I did about 52 minutes in the lactate zone there. So it was a solid workout and that was my plan because I had two days sandwiched in between six days of work. And on the Tuesday then I did 10 by 1K at um, about a 10K to 10 mile pace. You know, just to start off that kind of stuff. And it was a good session for the the run and the for the 1K and the cool down I averaged 538 which is marathon pace so that's what I always try to do when I'm doing the faster stuff the kind of um, lactate threshold stuff um, try to at least get back to marathon pace you know thereabouts not nothing too fast either um, so that was a solid session on tired legs and then I had to go to work Tuesday night with that run in my legs so I had 16 miles and I had to try to recover from that and do a 12 hour shift in work and then I finished Friday morning did my half marathon as you do in your day off um, stayed up all night lie down in bed got the bus up to Dublin got over here to Lublin Parchip and now uh, hopefully that will make me sleep tonight so I can rest tomorrow you know um, in terms of the race itself I won it last year I turned up it was 30 degrees it was so hot honestly couldn't couldn't run and one of the local lads hung on behind me for the whole race and I could not shake him off. And uh, they all know me over here now because I won four races when I came over last year. And now uh, he's beating the same people, all the local fast fellas. So I have a target on my back now. And uh, I'd rather just go out and try to run the race, you know, to enjoy it and try to get something out of it. But I, I, like, I might have to hang on to someone tomorrow or try to set the pace. The weather is supposed to be a little bit better tomorrow, it's supposed to be a bit cooler. Like, today it's supposed to be cold, but it's 27 degrees. I'm not here for that stuff at all, you know, and it, at least it won't be hot, as hot as last year. That was a disaster, like, but, you know, I remember doing my first session over here last year, and I could barely manage 1K at Martin Pass in my first session to get the ball rolling, 
but after about a week then I was well well uh, used to it and I made a kind of decision there then that I was gonna go by effort and that's that's when my training really um, kind of changed in the last couple of years um, I started thinking about effort rather than just running as fast as I could because I, I could always hit my splits and run fast and faster than maybe my peers were running in their half marathons and 10 milers and 10 k's but I was still coming up short in the marathon and um, something that I'm going to look at now and something I have looked at my, with my data and I'm going to definitely watch my heart rate all the time when I'm over here bar the days that I'm racing so tomorrow look if I go with the lead uh, group of people obviously I'm going to try to win and if I can't I'll, uh, I'll make it hard for whoever else is going out and I have uh, another race the following Saturday um, over on the Belarusian border which is about 30 kilometers that way um, along the Bug River it separates Poland, Ukraine and Belarus and uh, I'll be over there next week and that should be interesting like I registered for last year and I turned up on Sunday and um, the race was actually on Saturday so the only people there were people going to mass and me in my running gear so I hope I'm not going to make that mistake this year anyway you know forward to that race now last year like but definitely looking forward to it this year it usually has a good good standard as well like and um, I just hope it's raining you know I hope it's not hot because if it's hot you know, I, I'm definitely going to be adding two minutes on to my 10k time. I'm not sure what, what I ran last year. I think I ran 34 or something. My heart rate was really high. Like, I, I just couldn't handle it. Like, especially with your man hanging on behind me then. And uh, I didn't even check who's racing tomorrow. Usually in the races in Poland, you can see who's actually registered and stuff. So I didn't even check, to be honest. I'm just going to turn up and uh, run it as best I can. Like, and um, if it doesn't go out to plan, you know, I might end up doing another session after it. So... We'll see what happens. Um, in terms of zones and stuff then, I reckon that because uh, I'm, you know, because I'm doing shift and stuff, I'm not maximizing my aerobic capacity with regards to, I'm doing my, I think I'm doing my easy runs too slow when I actually, I should be running a bit faster in my easy runs. And if you looked at my runs the last couple of days, you'll see that my aerobic runs now are, are all sub seven, like maybe, at one minute slower the marathon pace, 640 pace and that's what I'm going to aim for in the next couple of weeks to build up that you know if you look at Canova he's type of training he really has his athletes um, going on that aerobic um, threshold zone what he calls um, specific extension so basically they'll do um, just say 10 miles at aerobic um, threshold and they'll build that up then all the way through the marathon cycle and they do the exact same thing with their lactate threshold so they're running 105% or maybe 95% of race pace and they're working those two zones in to make that steady state a lot more comfortable like and that's something that I'm going to be doing myself now in the next couple of weeks of my training I'm definitely going to be pushing a bit on my aerobic you know to maximize fat burning I definitely think that running easy um, if you look at Canova again he he calls it regeneration where your easy run is just shaking out the run from yesterday so you're getting rid of all that badness in the legs and you're just shaking them out getting the blood flowing back in again that's going to clear them out and have them ready for the next session so that's what i plan on doing if i'm running easy over here it's it's just going to be because i'm doing a double run or else i'm recovering from a hard race or a hard session and then i'll still do my aerobic run i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do too much easy stuff because i think I, I definitely trained less for Berlin and I ran 2.33 in Berlin and um, I didn't train as hard. If you look at my last long run before Berlin, like it was soft, like and I could run that in my sleep now and I still ran 2.33 with that. That was probably the first time in, in the last couple of marathons that I actually went to the well in it. I could actually go to the well in that race and I ran a 2.33 and I wasn't, I wasn't like you know, I was I was only half as fit as I am now, and I still ran a 2:33. And I, when I look back at my training and stuff, I reckon that I used to do all my runs around 6:50 pace, my easy runs. Whereas the last couple of years, I've been doing them a bit slower, like you know. And um, it hasn't given me that, um, we'll say, aerobic capacity that I had when I did Berlin with less training. So I'm gonna. That's something I'm gonna try in this cycle, just to see. Look, like I said, I like trying new things and. Oh, it's all about learning and stuff like that and I'll enjoy it. I'll enjoy running 650, 640 in my uh, easy runs and uh, I'll still enjoy running the hard ones. And you know, if 
if it's true that I, I train better for Berlin, um, then you know I'll have a better race in Chicago because I train really hard for London. When I was over here, I was running my hard sessions probably too hard, and I got out, I got 2:29 in London with because I train really hard. But I think if I train more smartly, maybe I could have run a little bit faster, and that's something I'm going to try this year for Chicago because I have nothing to lose. I, I ran my 2:29 like I said before, and. Um, it doesn't bother me, like, you know, if I go over there and I fail, at least I'll, uh, I'll uh, at least say I tried something anyway. You know, if it doesn't work out, at least at least I'm going to learn something from it and uh, I've had to pass it on. So to sum up the last five weeks, it's it's been a good, it's been a good uh, building uh, block, especially with strength, because I definitely feel strong from all the hills that I did. And there's no hills over here, absolutely none. I, I won't see a hill now till I get back to Ireland. And I'm definitely gonna have to work hard to build, put the lactate in that legs, you know, to get my legs to feel that burn again. Unless I have to run up a few flights of stairs or something like that. But the next couple of weeks now is all about building my speed endurance and my strength endurance. And this is where I'm gonna do it, because it's flat, it's fast, it's gonna be hot. I'm gonna adjust my paces um, accordingly. I have my heart rate strap with me, so even if I'm doing 550 and uh, I'm up the lactate threshold zone, and if I want to run 520 then so I'll be it like I'm going to walk the zones that I have to and I'm, I'm still going to try to stick to the 80-20 principle um, I'm going to get big miles in over here hopefully tomorrow my week starts so I'll have that 10k race so I'll try getting a warm up and a cool down and uh, if not I, I usually do my long run on tired legs after a race so um, if all goes okay in the race I'll definitely get out Monday and I'll get um, a long run in maybe 18 miles or something like that and it's gonna be um, it's gonna be a lot more footage in this one because um, I'm off work and hopefully I'll have someone on the bike. And the next video you'll see will probably be about the two races that I'm gonna to do tomorrow and the week after. So there should be some pretty good footage of that, and um, hopefully uh, I can run well. If not, I lose this part of my training. That's what it's all about now. Um, try get some uh, good sleep in as well that's my next goal like because I definitely didn't sleep good the last couple of weeks it's been horrible like and but look I'm still here now and I'm ready to go to the, the next part of it like and five weeks to the world masters mountain running championships as well hopefully I can go in there now with all this marathon training behind me and uh, fly up that first 2k of uh, the hill which is gonna be really hard like you know if anyone ran it already they'll know that it's it's pretty brutal climb but Hopefully I have lots of strength build up over here. And uh, anyway, look, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit like um, if you want to see more of these videos. The next couple of videos are going to be good. Um, definitely going to be a lot more better footage. Like um, I'll have a lot more time as well to edit stuff, and you'll see a lot more. Um, you'll see a lot more of me in action. Like so, I won't have to be standing around talking in my car in work or whatever. You know. So anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll keep you updated on the races in my next video. Um, take care. Bye.